Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video I'm going to showcase and do a brief tutorial on one of the lesser known modes in regiments. That mode is mobile defense. Overall, regiments has three different skirmish modes you can play, attack, mobile defense, and meeting engagement. So once you beat that campaign and you can't get enough regiments, come on over to the skirmish mode, and overall you're going to have yourself a good time, and there's a good variety of gameplay. So with all that being said, mobile defense, you use the provided transport platoons to evacuate equipment from the designated zones and return it to the starting zone. So what that means is there's going to be three zones. We're going to go in depth and I'm going to showcase those to you and, and explain the mechanics a bit more. Overall, you're going to need a base time limit of 30. You need to collect, I believe, a thousand um, supply in total. Your transports hold around 100 supply each, so you're going to do at least 5 runs. That's going to take longer than 20 minutes. Um, we're just going to start with 30. Um, we're going to keep everything else basically the same day. Front line is our map. We're also going to start off on easy. Um, the mode kind of builds up to a, a crescendo, for lack of a better word. What that means is your first couple attacks or defenses are going to be against a smaller, like, weakened fighting force. Then as the mode progresses, the enemy starts sending bigger and larger waves at your mobile defense, at your mobile defenses. Overall, um, it gets kind of hectic towards the end, but it starts off really, really slow. My initial impressions of the mode so far are the transports that transport your um, supplies are a little bit slow. So what that means is you're going to focus on a lot more of your the different movement speeds for your units because you're going to have to maneuver around these trees because if you drive through them, it's going to waste a lot of time. And as you can see, here's our first couple of zones. Um, it starts off by showing you one, two, three, four, five, six. All six of those will not be there when you hit the play button. One of them's going to go away. It's super unfortunate, but that's how it is. So over here on the lower right hand side, we can see engineering support. We have 60 total um, points to spend. Overall, I noticed that the barbed wire is semi-useful. If you put barbed wire up, the AI is honestly going to avoid it and kind of drive through the forest and set up defenses in the forest. So you can obviously cut these choke points off, but the AI is never really going to challenge them if you have barbed wire up. At least that's what I've noticed so far. Um, I've only played a few matches. Recon post, I wouldn't select it right off the bat. As you can see, you can't afford to play it outside of the circle. And it does, it's probably not going to look much further than these other units that you already have. I would avoid that one. Strong post. Um, it's okay. I would focus on more anti-air because as the battle goes on, you're going to get a lot more air combat. The AI is going to call in helicopters, different types of artillery, which is, doesn't matter about anti-air, but and airstrikes. So you're only going to have, as you can see, one little Vulcan cannon to initially start. So as the war rages on, you're going to need more air support. So we're going to start off by putting an anti-air up right in this village. Right. So there we have a little anti-air platoon. We're going to just put one kind of off to the side in each one of these because we're not going to have a lot of air support. And we're going to need it. Next, um, mortar emplacements. Kind of useful, kind of not useful. I haven't messed with them too much. Um, not my favorite so far. I wouldn't put them, if you're going to run barbed wire, I wouldn't put them in the forest because the AI is going to come through this forest. So that's something to make note of. If you're not going to run barbed wire, then I would do with like anti-tank positions, like right over here. And you could probably put that one right there and then put this one on the forest right here. And then we could like run barbed wire between here and here, right? Just like that. We only have 23 points. We spend 10 on an anti-tank position. And... We only have 13 points left, and we could honestly probably just run like another barbed wire as far as we can. So overall, like our flanks really exposed, we didn't really utilize our engineering support as much as we could, but we did do an excessive amount of anti-air support. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to deploy our units. Um, with these blue circles, if, if you place them, since there's additional blue circles, we can initially deploy them right where we want them which is one of the more fun mechanics. I'm not going to spread everyone out too much. Artillery right in the middle, and then an HQ up here with this unit. So there's our initial deployment. So if we hit the space bar, we can hit confirm. 
And then, all right, now let's talk about our transports. And as you can see, all our point, pos our six positions went away. So what we need to do is we need to click on these transports, hit the F key. So that means fast move. And then hit the F key over here, fast move to this position. And then uh, this is, oh, that's what this unit is. I don't see anyone in it. Hmm. There they go. All right. Interesting. Interesting. A lot of those mobile, where do we put the anti-tank? Right here. So this is what our anti-tank looks like. So we get like two additional anti-tank units. Um, pretty good spot. And you're going to see what I'm talking about when um, we don't really need to defend this area. That area is so heavily defended. We're just going to have to move this unit over here, that tank. And this unit, I think this is anti-air, correct? I don't, I don't remember putting him on this tree line. I don't know why it takes a minute to render to. All right. Those look like Bradleys, like friendly Bradleys. Regardless, um, awesome. Oh, we got to hit the space bar. Get everything going. You do get a small transport. We're going to hit F right here. And I think one of this mission also takes a while to kick off. So here's our anti-tank. Here's our anti-tank. Here's our additional anti-air. Right here. Looks like we get some Vulcans. What look to be Vulcans, so that's going to be fun to use. And then a small little village. And then initially you're really going to need to hit, hit this fast forward button. Right? Because it's the first couple of waves. You're not going to face off against a lot of enemies. And the game's kind of going to start off a bit slow, but like all most attack and defend games, every defend game's going to start off slow. They don't just throw a thousand units at you all at once. It's a slow build up that just overall gets to like an unmanageable mess at, towards the end, and you're just fighting and trying and attempting to survive everything that the AI throws at you. So, artillery, long range artillery, you have different sorts of an aircraft coming in. And here's our first contact, look, look to be a tank. We're going to slow it down a little bit. And you only get to call in like a minimal amount of units. So you need to make sure you utilize some of those. What, that looks like a massive position. Your um, weapon systems you're given. Like we didn't supply this area over here at all. So we have to like rotate units out of this position in an attempt to set up a good little defensive line. Our artillery begins falling onto what looked to be BTR-70s and infantrymen. This ME-72 is going to do good. And as you can see, our first transport's beginning to gather resources. And once we gather 100 resources, we'll pull it back. There's a small black bar right next to your time, as you can see. Right there, 2743. I'm surprised they actually amassed a lot of forces right there. Um, we have A-10 guided missiles. I think that's overall a lot of fun. Um, I wanted to check that out. And then as you can see, you can actually utilize a lot of the skills you've been developing during the campaign. You can kind of position vehicles at their maximum range. We have this unit. Um, completely gather resources so we're gonna hit f and we're gonna pull that first transport all the way back to their position this one has still 28 more resources to gather it looks like the ai sent forward a little anti-aircraft unit um they can't really utilize that very well in this mode and we do have like a little flank forming over here and then we have this last btr 70. these m1a1 so i think this mode's a lot more fun because you're not like pushing your units to their maximum um, and they like operate at their maximum engagement distances. You can come up with some good defensive strategies. Overall, it's a bit more fun. Um, attack's always a lot of fun. I mean, who doesn't love a good attack mode? Meeting engagements has been hit and miss for me. I need to play it a bit more. Where's my barbed wire? Here's our barbed wire. As you can see, they kind of just charge to this open position. Um, looks like they're blocking off our tanks. We're just going to push that unit through the smoke. We almost have a guided missiles on standby. We can get what look to be our Vulcans new up and running. We're going to put them over there. We have a new task force. Overall, I've been enjoying helicopters for this mode. Um, get ourselves Apaches. And I believe a recon. I thought it said we had an Apache in that one. Yep, right there, AH-60. Um, as soon as we can, we're going to call some guided airstrikes in up on this position. This small little front line's forming. We're kind of trading blows. This recon unit has ATGMs, which is super beneficial for us. Ready. Ideally, I would like that tank to finally engage that unit, which it's absolutely doing. Um, here in a moment, two more attack aid points. We're going to drop guided A-10 missiles on that unit right there. Give me one more attack aid, my dude. 
The world's the lowest hack aid. Thank you. All right, in nine seconds, that fire mission is going to kick off. As you can see, if there's really no resources over here to collect, the AI is not going to head over there. So what we're going to do, we're going to rotate one of these tanks out of here, and we're going to put him in this position right there. We're also going to... Oh, here comes our airstrike. The precision um, bombs are so dope compared to some of the other ones. They're a bit more expensive, but they're better. All right. We're going to continue to reinforce that position over there on the right. We have two sets of tanks over there. This artillery is kind of fine. We're, we could move it up to engage that unit, which is perfectly fine. These tanks are moving fast to come help clear out these woods. I guarantee there's probably units in those woods. And as you can see, we do have a good little AI defensive line. If anyone attempts to charge at these barbed wires, which I don't think they're going to do, I mean, it just is what it is at the end of the day. We're going to reinforce our artillery, and slowly the AI is going to be calling in their own artillery. Um, not my favorite. I kind of feel like the game is really artillery dependent on a lot of things. AI over there slowly running out of ammo. And see, as you see, if you use like this fast key, he's going to... Where is this guy going? So fast, if you think about fast, he's going to like take the fastest route possible. So that's something you need to make, make note of. So if you're going to do anything, you're going to need to hold shift and navigate this area a bit better because he just over it, like his flanks all exposed and I'm expecting him to come across enemies here shortly. He's outside of our defensive perimeter. Our transport's under attack where? Um, no. Artillery, like I said. Where's that guy? We should be able to see him. It might be a, is it a mobile artillery? We can't really do much about that. I don't really want to send a, like a force out there to look for one dude. You know what I mean? That's not the point of this game. So he's going to push across that little water path. I didn't know water would slow him down. That's interesting to note. Um, tanks in position. So far, no counterattack. Doing a bit of recon. I guess we can get our helicopter in. All right, and then as you know, we've already finished this position right here. We're going to evac those resources over there. Overall, we've done two evacs. As you see, we have 222. These tanks are way overextended. I want to pull them back to this position. We do have a significant AI fighting force right there. What is th this unit armed with anything? Yes. Main ammo. We'll use him to flank and close and destroy anyone over there on that right-hand side. Let's continue to set up. Not sure where the next mo where we are missing one point. And as you can see, like this is what I was talking about. Like these transports are in absolutely zero rush. They look like they're moving fast, but they feel like they're moving slow. And I feel like that's where a significant amount of your time is wasted in this mode. Not wasted, but spent is moving these mobile transports around. Um, as you can see, like the AI, we had one massive wave over here on the right. Easily dealt with. Nothing over here on the left. But it slowly picks up. We are on. There we go. And like just what I was afraid of. Our tank's going to. His flank's going to be exposed. We're gonna New task force available. Slow everything back down. We have another. What looked to be a little show of force right here. This M1 might get sacrificed. Two of two vehicles under heavy artillery. We're just going to pull him back. We're going to have some fun with some anti-aircraft fire. These guys aren't going to penetrate this front line. See, and remember, like what I said earlier, is the AI is going to avoid... Oh, my God. This guy's getting shredded. All right. Let's watch this. Lots of artillery coming in. Did we lose that guy? No, not yet. Oh, my goodness. That Where's our helicopter at? Let's get some like air on air violence going he's like shredding our anti-tank see remember they're never going to challenge these um barbed wires for some reason if they have a choice so they tried to like thread the needle right here through these forests obviously this is a wide open area um they did do a bit of engagement across the top overall i think that's mostly the mode um and then as you see as the battle rages on they get start getting artillery so that turns the game that m round into more of a counter battery sort of situation. So we need to find ourselves some long range artillery if we have any. So if we hover over each one of these. I thought we did. 
doesn't look like we have long range anti-aircraft that's really unfortunate armored task force call in so maybe that's something to start off right in the beginning to ensure that you have something to do some counter battery because we're never from it looks like the task force we have are able to deal with that long range artillery that unit's been easily dealt with that unit right there like i said see wide open area helicopters are these units going to challenge the barbed wire we're just going to watch this last bit see if they do i don't think they will but i just want to see that unit should easily be destroyed i'm not overly concerned about him and we totally forgot to collect resources all right these ones look like they're challenging it but they're not going to make it through overall that's the mode um hope it's something you guys enjoy other than that peace out guys